Hi Scorpio, welcome to your love check-in. I hope all of you are doing well. Let me know in the comment section where you are tuning in from. I love to hear from all of you. Thank you so much for your love and support on my channel. We're just gonna jump right in and see what is the overall energy around the Scorpio Collective when it comes to love. And this is specifically for romantic love. So just take that in that context. Okay, we've got some cards flying out. We have the Page of Wands. We have a king of wands and we have a chariot it's interesting uh in your pre-meditation this card wanted to come out as well um feels like a lot of you are perhaps thinking through some kind of travel maybe this is a long distance kind of connection for some of you but i also think for some others um i don't know why i'm getting this feeling that you're moving on from someone you're moving on from somebody who was too immature for you and what you need as a king and what you got was a page. Uh, I'm sorry, that's not going to resonate with everyone, but I'm definitely getting that some of you have decided to move on from a connection, from a person that just wasn't fulfilling you at the level that you deserve and you wanted and good on you. Scorpio, I think it's always a great thing to stand up for yourself. Um, I think you needed them to kind of quickly transform from a page to a king, which they couldn't. And you decided to, you know, take your little chariot here and move the hell on. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Give me one more. Give me some clarifiers on this. Page of Wands. Yep, the world. Yep, exactly. Cycles closing. Could be somebody at a distance. And you're like, nah, done with that. King of Wands. Oh my god, I love it. All your messages are on point. You're like, nah, universe, this cup that you're trying to bring to me, unless it's a king of wands, I ain't here for it. Proud of you, Scorpio, standing up for yourself. Amazing energy, the chariot. Yep, you know what? You're like moving on from this anxiety, moving on from losing sleep over yet another person who just doesn't get me to my 10 of pentacles. Look, I think the thing that, especially if you're a cross watcher, I think it's really important to know about the sign of Scorpio is that it's such an all or nothing kind of sign. And my Scorps, let me know in the comment section how that resonates with you. But it's all or nothing with a Scorpio. You can't half-ass a Scorpio in love. You just simply can't. You can't half-ass them at work, in life, in general, in any situation, perhaps. But definitely in love, because this is a fixed water sign. It takes everything with that intensity that unfortunately is pretty much unmatched in the Zodiac. Um, I think your other fellow water signs like Pisces, Cancer, uh, can try to scratch the surface, but nobody knows depth of emotion like a Scorpio does. And look, it's a bit of a good thing. It's also a bad thing. Like this sign, um, it, to be born under the sign means to be constantly evolving, constantly going through cycles, sometimes really difficult cycles, like cycles of trauma, abuse, um, emotional uh, attachment, detachment, cycles closing, cycles opening. And a Scorpio, I guess, just starts to assume that life is always going to be like that for them. And unfortunately or fortunately, it is like that because it is a sign of transformation. Uh, and I think when you're born under the sign of Scorpio, you expect that maybe everybody else also goes through emotion just like that. But just a little bit of watch out, Scorpio, that everybody else doesn't feel emotion 10x or 20x like we do. Um, but having said that, I'm not asking you to settle or compromise for people, places, things that don't meet you at the level that you want, want them to be. So if this cup ain't working for you and it's giving you anxiety, it's keeping you up at night, I'm really proud of you for closing that goddamn door on it. So good on you. Good on you, Scorpio. Really good on you. Let's go to the Romance Angels. I feel like a lot of you, um, I know this is a very specific reading, it won't resonate with everybody watching, but I think for the ones who are resonating with this, I think you're literally being like, yes, you are feeling very empowered, okay, your cards are out, um, and you, you, you're, you're very confident of this decision that you took, there are no regrets, you knew you had to do this, you had to shut the door, and you're very happy that you did so. Okay, let's see. Free yourself. Oh my God, not making this up. It's time to take back control of your life. You were like, you know what? No way. I'm not going to let somebody dominate my energy. I'm not going to let them come in and consume me and, and do all of that. And I'm going to like, you know, because the Scorpio and love will be over giving, like, you know, change everything about your life, let go of your sacred boundaries. But then the minute you realize that, hey, what one second, what, why am I doing this? What am I getting back in return? and it's not happening for you, you pull back. So you freed yourself 
flirt and you're probably already extending your lighthearted energy to others. Maybe you're playing the field. You've got a wedding. Could be that you were married to this person or you thought that one day you would marry this person, but oh well, you know. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. For some of you, this could be something that's already happened in the past and now you're with somebody that you think you could get married to. Um, or I have a, the stronger message that I'm getting is that a lot of you felt that this could be the one and you would marry this person. But I'm really sorry, Scorpio. Unfortunately, it seems like that just wasn't the case. And I think for the people for whom this video is resonating, you pretty much knew that. Now, time is uh, obviously very fluid when we're reading tarot. So for some of you, this has just happened. And for some others, this probably happened in the distant past. And you've already moved on to greener pastures. But sometimes you tend to think about this and maybe you needed a confirmation from your spirit team that, you know, like it's a good thing that the past is in the past and this person is in your past. Let's look at some other some other energies from the Angel Answers deck. Let's see what they have for you. Oh, do you want me to take the first one? Nope, exactly. You said your N.O. to this person situation thing because it just wasn't working for you, Scorpio. Remain positive, but you remain positive and you start dating, you know, start playing the field. And I think you've already met somebody amazing, uh, somebody who deserves you, somebody who appreciates what you bring to the table. Look for a sign. And I think well, you're such an intuitive sign. So um, if you've got any doubts about this, like, you know, manifest, meditate, ask for a sign from your spirit team and you'll be, you'll be, um, yep, within the next few weeks, I was going to say, um, you'll definitely be given your sign and then they confirm the timing within the next few weeks. You have big happy changes coming your way, Scorpio. Love that for you. Let's go to the lover's oracle here and let's see what they have for you. Uh, just bear with me. This deck is really hard to shuffle, but uh, you know, I did shuffle it really well before the reading, but I'd like to do it on camera. You've got your card out. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Do you, don't you just love how all these messages are so consistent, right? From freeing yourself, saying no to something, pulling back your energy and focusing on yourself. That's a beautiful Scorpio and I know we really shouldn't be digging so much into the past but I know some of you like to know so this person that's shown up in uh, this reading their energy has shown up in this reading what would they like you to know what would they like you to know I bet they're crying over you Scorpio us Scorps you know how it is people often regret walking away from us but let's see let's see what does this person want you to know I'm afraid to contact you, of course, because you're going to be at the receiving end of that Scorpio wrath, uh, <laughs> if I might just say so. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Maybe you ended things on a, on a good note. Maybe, yeah, again, like I said, maybe this is distant, distant past. You both were really young. Uh, it wasn't the right timing. I regret lying to you. There you go. What did I say? This person still thinks about you, has active regrets about how they treated you, about not being honest with you. Oh, there you go. Miss being with you, Scorpio. My prediction and my intuition is obviously so on point. I'm a Scorpio sun. So when I read for the sign of Scorpio, I feel even before the cards come out, I already know the messages. And you inspire this person. You, well, which Scorpio doesn't, right? <laughs> We've got a lot of love for Scorpio on this channel. We know that. Uh, you'll notice most of my uh, readings that I upload are for Scorpio. And I read a lot for money and career for the sign of Capricorn. That's just how this channel has evolved over the last six to eight months. I'm actively trying to read for more signs, but I'm an intuitive reader. I read for the sign that I'm guided to read for. And there seems to be a special reason that I've been kind of called upon to read for Capricorn and Scorpio. I do think with Pluto moving out of Capricorn and moving to Aquarius, this is a big change, a big transformation for the sign of Capricorn. So perhaps, you know, I've been invited to uh, read for that sign because they need that guidance right now. And Scorpio, I am born under that sign. Love being a Scorpio, but I know it comes with um, some really deep, dark emotions. Uh, I hear you. I'd love to hear from you and let me know how you cope with these deep, dark, you know, black holes that we tend to go into uh, when things are in a dark space for us as Scorpios. And if you're a Scorpio, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But share your techniques. Tell us what helps you get through it. And uh, maybe that'll help somebody out, you know, on this channel. Take care, Scorpio. I hope this resonated. If it did, please do hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon.
拜拜。